Hello, <clears throat> welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about Sparrow Agent. Uh, you know, the core functionality of Sparrow is data extraction, and uh, the way Sparrow works, uh, it gets a document, either image or PDF, and then extracts the data from, from the document. But um, you need uh, to have uh, some functionality on top of that, and this, uh, this is what Sparrow Agent provides. So with Sparrow Agent, you can <clears throat> implement a pipeline of workflow of multiple steps that would help to process the document. For example, uh, in the first step uh, of the Sparrow Agent, you could uh, uh, go through the pages of the document and detect uh, page uh, each page type. And uh, this is important because there could be, uh, in, in a single document, you might have invoice page, then there could be uh, some item description page, and then uh, there could be some additional information page, and some instruction page, and so on. And for each of these pages, you may, execute, you may want to execute different query. And when you detect uh, each page type, then <clears throat> you know what type of query you want to execute against that page. So this would be the first step. In the second step, you would uh, want to split document into separate pages to uh, process each page separately. And then in the third step, you actually would execute data extraction tasks, a task with the query which uh, is uh, supposed to be executed against uh, uh, this given uh, uh, page configuration, let's say. And in the last step, when you get the results, you want to maybe validate results, fix some minor errors automatically, and then uh, merge all the results in the single response and uh, store it in a database, for example. So uh, the idea of agent is uh, uh, to join multiple uh, logical steps into the single flow. And in the, back, in the back end, we are obviously using uh, Sparrow functionality, which is responsible for the data extraction or, or page type uh, uh, calculation and so on. So let's uh, go through the code and let's see how this works. And yeah, uh, Sparrow agent functionality is implemented under agents project uh, and agents project is um, uh, stored in the same GitHub repository uh, in, in Sparrow GitHub um, uh, folder basically uh, under a uh, mail package uh, next to the LLM where <coughs> uh, Sparrow data extraction is implemented. Okay, there are <coughs> uh, four main uh, scripts. First one is base, and uh, this script uh, implements uh, base agent class that defines core functionality and simplified to focus on actual workflow execution. So this uh, agent manager, uh, which provides two abstract methods. Uh, first one, register agent to register a new agent. And there's another one, execute agent, to, which helps to execute the specified agent. Because within Sparrow Agents project, you may have uh, multiple agents for different tasks. Maybe some of them even not document uh, processing related, like uh, stock trading or whatever. And yeah, you can pass the name of the agent you want to execute for specific request, because uh, Sparrow agent comes with the uh, API endpoint, so it's callable from the outside, from another machine, through the API, and you can pass the name of the agent that you want to execute. Okay, so that's base, and then we've got uh, uh, API, uh, which uh, uh, implements uh, uh, different endpoints, and for example, one of the endpoints is to execute file agent. Uh, this this is the type of the agent which uh, works with the files. There is another endpoint execute data agent. Uh, this is type of agent that uh, works with the data input directly, and it uh, would not accept files. So, for two type of uh, two type of agents are being supported here. Okay, then there are some. A list agents method, which uh, would list the names of the currently implemented agents under Sparrow, uh, Sparrow agent functionality, and this uh, basic health check method to uh, verify if API is up and running. So here we got API implementation for the agent access. Then we got agent itself. This is the one medical prescription agent and another one sample agent called trading. This one is. Uh, 
like a placeholder code for a trading agent just to show the example how uh, the agent core functionality can be implemented within Sparrow. Uh, more logic is implemented under medical prescriptions agent and you can use it as a blueprint uh, template uh, when you want to implement your own agent within Sparrow then you could follow the structure of this uh, implementation available under uh, medical prescription agent and we can open agent script and here we got medical prescriptions agent class uh, where uh, we implement uh, execute method and by the way uh, all the uh, key methods are annotated with uh, prefetch uh, functionality so that later in next time I'll show you when agent is executed all the steps are being recorded and it's easier to later to see how the agent flow was executed uh, this useful for uh, debug or uh, review purposes so under medical prescription we when we execute it we implement we, we call those steps first we process and validate input then we split document into the pages and then we process each page All right and if you go to this method we'll see that uh, the tech talk structure method detects document structure and validates pdf requirements uh, it will process only multi-page uh, multi pdf documents so it goes here does all the checks and then and then it calls Sparrow client from here to extract type per page and if you go to this method so all the uh, interaction with Sparrow uh, backend where data processing is executed is implemented on the Sparrow client uh, which is uh, under medical prescriptions agent and oh here we can we execute uh, uh, API call uh, we've, we collect all the data and we execute API call over here and th there is uh, uh, config properties and uh, it provides uh, settings for each agent and in this case we have a settings for the medical prescription so we specify those settings under group uh, settings medical prescriptions for specific agent like this one at the, at the currently here Right, and we have, uh, for example, we list the page types that we want to detect, then we list the page types that we want to process, then we list the uh, uh, vision LLM model names we want to use in the backend, and uh, the queries that we want to execute, and so on. So this is more like a sample data, here, sample, sample setup here. I don't provide any actual PDF example for this uh, uh, setup because PDF uh, is private, it's... Uh, real pdf that i cannot share but uh, i could only share the code here which could uh, be used as a blueprint uh, while implementing your own agent as i said earlier okay and then in the next step we split the document so in the split step we don't execute any calls to the sparrow for the data instruction or split is done here within the agent itself and in the last step we, ex uh, we call extract data so here we check uh, for example for the current page uh, to which type it belongs if it's a uh, table or a uh, form uh, invoice request form we execute th this method otherwise if uh, it's some detailed data extraction we execute this method and if you look here we can see that the method is supposed to process pages of uh, the current of this given type using uh, Sparrow backend API. So we construct all the parameters here and uh, call the method, which is which can talk to the Sparrow backend. Uh, extract data Sparrow. This method is used uh, in both cases uh, for the let's say master data and for the detailed data extraction. For this method, similar like with the method where we detect page type, we uh, construct uh, uh, API call uh, parameters and then we execute the call. Uh, it goes to the Sparrow, uh, extracts data and then we get data back. Finally, we aggregate, if you look uh, here, we aggregate all the results into the list, uh, Python list, and then we return it back here. So at the end, 
uh, result is being returned uh, with the file name that was processed, with the number of pages that were processed, and with the results. Okay, and if you look uh, here, we could see uh, this is the dashboard page from the uh, prefect. It runs on uh, another machine on uh, Mac Mini where uh, inference uh, is being executed with Sparrow using MLX. And if you look into the one of the tasks here, uh, we could go and see the flow. Uh, so we can see that uh, detect document structure methods was executed, then uh, split document uh, method was executed, and then extract data. And within extract data, we had one, two, three, and four calls. This means four pages were processed. Uh, that's one example, and if you look, let's say, here past week, and okay, this uh, this one, a uh, very large document was processed here, and if we open it up, uh, here around, I think, 26 uh, steps were executed because 26 pages were processed in this in this example. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, Sparrow agent functionality and uh, obviously you can use it as a blueprint uh, for your own implementation and uh, it gives you a good idea how to work with um, Sparrow backend and how to uh, arrange uh, uh, multiple actions uh, calling Sparrow backend into the single pipeline uh, into so-called agent functionality. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.